Hello, children of God. I have something to show you again this morning. Can anybody tell me what this is? It's a rock. Rocks are really strong. Do you think I can change this? I'm going to try to change it into like a pancake shape. Ready? Yeah. Nope, it won't budge. This is really strong. It's, I can't change it, right? Um, I can't change it. Did you know Jesus is like a rock? Let's see, last week we talked about how when we see bread, we're supposed to be reminded that Jesus loves us. This week, Jesus is like a rock. So when we see rocks, we need to be reminded that Jesus gives us strength. We're going to talk about that today. So we've talked about all these events that lead up to Easter. And we're going to continue talking about these events. And last week, we talked about the Last Supper and how Jesus knew that that he was going to be arrested that night and taken to be crucified on a cross. And Jesus knew that. And so he was sad and he was scared, right? You probably would be too. I would be. And so he does something. He goes to a place called the Garden of Gethsemane. Can you say that with me? Gethsemane. Gethsemane. I'm probably saying it wrong. It's kind of like that word, uh, see an enemy. The Garden of Gethsemane. And he goes there and he prays. He prays to God and he says, God, I'm scared and uh, I'm, I'm kind of sad about this. Is, is there any other way that I can save all these people? And then he realizes, he says, you know what, God? Your will be done. God, your will be done. And these are words that we actually say. If you watch the big service with Pastor Jay, we say these every week. Your will be done. So if you watch it today or any other time, I want you to listen out for those words and hear when we say those words, your will be done. And so Jesus knew that it was God's will that this plan God had for him to save us, that was, that was God's will. And he was going to be strong, just like this rock. And Jesus was. And Jesus was strong for something hard, you know. That, it was pretty hard to do that, to save us. Um, and Jesus, did you know Jesus will help you be strong like this rock when you go through hard times? Let's think. What are times when you need to be strong? Let's see. Maybe you complain when you're asked to do your homework or chores or, you know, clear the dinner table. Or maybe this school year has been really hard for you because you can't play on the playground with your friends like you normally do or be in class with your friends like you normally are. That's hard. Sometimes hard things take us by surprise, too. Maybe you fall and hurt yourself. You know, that, that's hard. It takes you by surprise. Well, I want to remind you and tell you that you have help when there's hard things happening. You can pray to Jesus, and Jesus will give you strength. Jesus is like this rock. He won't budge. His love is, is continuous for you, and, and God will provide for you and be strong. So when you're feeling scared or sad, pray. Pray to Jesus. And just like Jesus did under the olive tree in the Garden of Gethsemane. And that will give you the strength you need. So let's pray together right now. Let's bow our heads. Lord Jesus, help me to pray, Thy will be done, just like you did. Thank you for your unfailing love for me, no matter what. You are my rock and my salvation. Amen. I love you. Pleasant Grove loves you. And God loves you.